I'm at Burroughs Brasserie at 12th and Phillips in downtown Sioux Falls. And you may not be able to tell, but it's a dream come true for owners Ryan and Mike. And it's a dream come true for you because the food is unbelievable and we'll show you why. Come on in. I'm standing with Ryan. Ryan and Mike own Bros Brasserie. What's a Bros and what's a Brasserie? Uh, bros, basically, Mike and I have known each other for about 13 years, been okay. cooking, cooking the entire time, so we're Bros. Okay. A Brasserie is just like a, a bistro, except for the emphasis of food and wine in a bistro, okay. it's food and beer in cool. a Brasserie. I didn't know that. And so I see a lot of different taps and stuff. So tell me where it comes from, how many do you have, and let's talk about that. We've got okay. 16 beers on tap at any given time. They're all regional American microbrews. Okay. Tell me about the menu. It looks like it's a regional type menu. Su southern food is definitely okay. what I'm about. I like to prepare okay. the southern regional comfort food almost. Okay. Tell me your background. I grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay. And uh, did an apprenticeship at Commander's Palace in New Orleans. Oh, really? And, in case uh, you don't know, Commander's Palace is like the place in New Orleans. Wouldn't you say, kind of? It's the place? It's, it's it, yeah. Cool. It's, it's one of them. Yeah. Cool. You open for lunches. Lunches, Tuesday through Saturday, Okay, and 11 then, to 2, close Monday. And then I've heard great things about your Sunday breakfast. Yep. We, because it isn't a buffet, is it? It's not a buffet. You it's get all to all order. Card. Yep, you get to order your breakfast. It comes to you. We buy all our eggs locally, our bacon oh. locally, and we make our own sausage. Did you hear that? He makes his own sausage. Uh, not many places do that. So you got a casing machine and you case it? Oh, you know, you do all that, yeah. Nice. It's kind of fine dining with a casual feel, though, it seems to me. That's what, that's the whole image that we're trying to go for. Right. It's, it's fine dining, but it's bright in here. You don't have to wear a coat and tie. Yep. You don't have to be quiet. So are we going in the kitchen today or not? We are. I'm going to make some pork belly for you, Joe. Okay, I can't wait. I think we should go try it. All righty. I'm going to go and prepare the pork belly appetizer dish that we have on our menu here. We start with a piece of our local pork belly. After we braise it for about six hours and cure it for a 24 hour period, this is what we end up with. And then we slice right through it. Take a little salt and pepper and season that. Grab a non-stick pan with a little extra virgin olive oil. We start another pan for our collard greens. Put a little applewood smoked bacon in there. All right, while that bacon's brown, I'm gonna go ahead and take these little pieces of pork belly here, put it right into the olive oil. The key is you do not want to start this in a hot pan. If you start it in a super hot pan, the outside of the pork will be nice and crispy, the inside will be ice cold. Once your bacon's good and brown, that's where we're gonna go for our local collard greens right here. We get these from Harrington, Nebraska. a little bit of garlic. And again, we season salt and pepper. Add a little white wine. All right, our collard greens are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this in a warm spot while my pork belly finishes cooking. Now once my edges are starting to brown on my pork belly and get really crispy, that's when I can go ahead and flip them. And that, is what we're looking for right there. Nice and golden brown. And then we just want to crisp that on the other side. Now I'm going to go ahead and start plating. To begin plating, I'm going to go ahead and put down a little sweet corn puree. We use local sweet corn for that. On top of that, I'm going to go ahead and put my collard greens. And then, finally, we do the pork belly. And then to garnish, we're gonna do a little balsamic, balsamic vinegar reduction. And an herb sprig for garnish. And that's our pork belly. Over the top, good. It's got a little kick to it. A little bit. Really good. So the deck, I see the deck out there. The deck, yes. And the deck, it looks really cool. It is, it's really cool. It's private, it's off the road, so right. you're not eating exhaust, you're not having to see cars drive by, it's a little bit You don't bit have secluded. to wave everyone you know all the time. You don't have to, no. Right. This is incredible food. Thank you. Incredible food. Thank you. So go to placeandplate.com before I finish this to learn recipes, to learn the menu, features, and all the things they do down here. Thank, Thank you. you so much, man. Thank you.